Hi, everybody. My name is Jonah Lupton. I am one of the co-founders of Fintrix, and I'm just going to take you through a little demo today so that once you're in Fintrix, you have it a better idea of, of what it's for and, and what you can do with it. So when you come to the website, which is Fintrix.ai, you have a couple different options here. Sign up, log in. Uh, if you've already created an account, obviously you go to log in. This is what it looks like. So it's just email and password. If you have not created an account yet, then you obviously have to sign up. Uh, we have over 9,000 people on the wait list and we're sending out uh, emails or invites in batches so that we don't overwhelm the system by sending out 9,000 invites all at once. And then all those people come in and the website crashes, which is not good for anybody. So we're doing batches. So what'll happen is you'll get um, after, you know whether you've already joined the wait list or you still have to join the wait list here, um, you'll get an email from us with a special link that you can come back in here uh, and proceed to sign up because your email has already been added to our system. Now, just to kind of give you an idea, so right now you can get price targets on over 3,420 stocks. Uh, and then this is just how many, <laughs> this is just from our beta testing, 11,000 um, price targets calculated. So we've tested this a lot over the last couple months just to try to get any bugs out and uh, hopefully ensure a smooth launch for everybody. So if you wanted to, you know, before you signed up, if you just kind of wanted to test it out, you can type in Tesla here, get a price target, you can see the assumptions, and I'll, I'll dive into this in a couple minutes. So what we've done is we've tried to make a financial model or build a financial model uh, to help people do better fundamental analysis. And what I mean by that is, if you're trying to determine the current or future value of a company, there are a lot of metrics that you have to not only understand, uh, but know how to input into a model. And then you have to be able to track those metrics and update them accordingly. And that's a lot of work. It's not only complex for most people that don't understand how to build models, but it's a lot of work. I mean, it's essentially a full-time job to keep those models updated and improve them over time. So what we did, we built it all for you. And for $10 a month, you can have access to our model where we aggregate all of the data from our providers and we feed it into our model, uh, into the assumptions that, that you'll see in a couple minutes. And then we spit out these 12 month price targets uh, of, of essentially where that stock should be valued in 12 months based on the current fundamentals as well as some technical indicators. And those price targets will change as the fundamentals change and as the technical indicators change. So, you know, this is not a static price target, which is why we encourage people to come back as often as possible, perhaps daily, and just quickly look at their stocks and see if there's, any been, if there's been any price target changes. Uh, I will say that one of the features that we're looking to add in the near future would be uh, alerts. So if you, if you add stocks to your watch list, uh, you could get an alert whenever those price targets change. And typically those price targets are going to change when, like I said, the, the estimates from the analysts that are being fed into our model happen to change. So, you know, if an analyst goes into uh, or changes the estimates on Tesla for next year, you know, or this quarter or next quarter, uh, then you would see a, a, a price target change as well. Now, if there's 30 analysts that cover a stock and only one analyst changes one number, it's probably not going to make any difference. But if you see, you know, all of the analysts uh, update their numbers and raise their estimates on a particular company, then you would most likely see a price target change as well. Now, in terms of plans, so, I mean, they're the exact same in every way except the, the cost. So there's a monthly plan for $10 a month or there's an annual plan for $100 a year, which I believe works out to a little over $8 a month. So you'll save a little bit of money with the annual plan. Uh, to us, obviously, it doesn't matter. Everybody gets a three-day uh, three day free trial with either plan. So your card will not be charged until that free trial is over. Um, after that, you can still cancel at any time. But if you don't cancel, before the three-day uh, free trial is over, then you will be charged either the $10 or the $100, depending on which plan you signed up for. Um, but in terms of features and everything else, it's, it's the exact same. So um, that's pretty much it for this page. So let me log in and show you around a little bit. So we try to make the site as simple as possible, easy to use, intuitive. Um, 
and just, you know, really clean and, and user friendly. So hopefully you enjoy it. So just like Google, you know, you come to the, the homepage and you get a search box and this is where you would type in any ticker that you want. So you type in Facebook, you could type in Tesla, you could type in NVIDIA, you could type in Dermtech, which is one of my favorites. Um, another one is Mohawk and Transmedics. So I know I'm kind of hogging the show here because these are some of my favorite holdings, but um, luckily my model is bullish in all of them. So, so that's what you do. Um, now, if you type in a stock that is, let's say, Target, which I haven't looked up before, and I haven't added to my wait list, then you can add it to the wait list here. Um, if you know, if I look up a stock like Tesla, Tesla, it's already on my wait list, so or watch list. So I might have said wait list a minute ago too. I meant watch list. So if you haven't added a stock to your watch list yet, which is right here, you'll see the option to do so right here. So. You know, let's say we looked up Peloton. I think that might already be on my watch. Oh, no. So you would add to watch list. There you go. And now you can go into your watch list and you can see all the stocks that you added. There's Peloton right there. So it's the, this list is automatically alphabetized for you. At some point in the future, we might, we might add other sorting options, maybe by percent change, or uh, it's probably the only other one that would make any sense. Uh, but for now, it's it's alphabetical order for everybody, which is probably easier. Um, and then of course you can click on any of those. You, so you can click on the tickers, you know, these green tickers and it'll take you to uh, the price target page. And now what you do here, well, let me find a better one. Let me go back to Facebook. So <clears throat> everyone's gonna see the same numbers here. So where it says last, this is the, because I'm recording this on Saturday morning, this is the closing price on Friday afternoon at four o'clock when the market's closed. Now, if you came to this site during the week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, you would get the most current price uh, from IEX Cloud, which I believe is every five minutes. So let's say Monday afternoon, you came in here and you know Facebook was trading at one o'clock in the afternoon at 271, then you should see 271 here as last. And then price target, obviously, um, this is the price target 12 months out. So whatever this date is here, it's gonna be exactly one year later um, for the price target. And then obviously the percent change here is, you know, uh, up or down, whatever the, and obviously there are some negative numbers. I, you know, there's a lot more positive numbers than negative numbers, which I suppose is good. Maybe that's just reflective of a, of a bull market, which I think we're still in. Uh, and companies are growing earnings and revenues at a, at a nice pace. So you should see a lot of positive numbers here. Um, but, you know, as we mentioned at the disclaimer, you know, this is not, there's no guarantees here. Uh, this is a propri proprietary model that we built. Uh, we did some back testing for it. We believe that it's a very strong model, but things change, companies change, estimates change, markets change, interest rates change. So, um, you know, take take that into consideration. Do not uh, manage your portfolio based on Fintrix alone. We simply want this to be a tool that you use to help guide you, uh, and perhaps in most cases, stay you know convicted to your companies and take a longer term, you know, mindset here when you're investing. And, you know, hopefully Fintrix can help you, um, you know, be a little bit more patient in your favorite stocks and ride out some of the short term noise and volatility that we've seen over the last couple of weeks. Because at the end of the day, most of us are long term investors. So what the markets do in the next week or two really shouldn't matter to us. And that's why we did a 12 month price target and not a three month or six month price target because we want most people thinking about the longer term because that's how you build wealth for yourself. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, so with all of these stocks, you can click on this button here called assumptions and it opens up all of these data cells. So these are just some of the metrics that we're allowing people to edit and override. So all of these boxes, you can edit, you can type in any number you want, you can you know delete that and type in a number and then recalculate. 
um, or you can use these up or down arrows, whatever's easier for you. Um, and all of this is available on mobile as well. Now, obviously on mobile, it looks a little bit different because you have a much smaller screen. So we've had to change some of the functionality uh, to make it more mobile friendly, but you can still do all of the same stuff on mobile. And you can recalculate as many times as you want. Uh, you'll see here, we did cap the cells at 100 and that is up or down 100. And that was after doing a lot of back testing. We realized that you know, especially for smaller high growth companies, when they are just starting to turn a profit for the first time, you can see some of these free cash flow numbers and EPS numbers, like just crazy high. Um, I mean, 100%, 200, 300, 400%. Um, and those can really, that really throws the model out of whack and gives you some crazy price target numbers that just don't make any sense. So with all the back testing, we determined that capping it at 100 up or down made the most sense for the model and gave the most accurate price targets. But like I said, I mean, you can, you know, if you want, if you want to change that to 300, you know, and recalculate it, you can certainly do that. So um, you can change any of these numbers as, as often as you want. I don't think most people are going to change them only because they probably don't follow these companies well enough to actually have a good feeling on what these numbers should be. I think a lot of us probably track revenues and revenue growth and gross margins the most. But I mean, I think if you ask most people, what's the income growth rate, you know, next quarter for, you know, your top five stocks, 99% of people would have no idea. So, so we try to do a lot of this for them, you know, so we have all the margins in here, we have the growth percentages, uh, and these are all important metrics that you should be using if you're trying to actually come up with a, uh, a true valuate you know whether it's present value or future value of your of your stocks and most people are not building these models themselves they're not maintaining them they don't have access to the same data you know the institutional data data that we're using so we get a lot of our current pricing from iex and we get a lot of our estimates from refinitive so we pay a, a significant amount of money every month to refinitive to have all of that data fed through an api into our website every single day uh, and that's how we're able to keep these numbers updated. So as an, as analysts change their numbers, these numbers will be changed, will be automatically updated as well. And that's why we created this watch list so that you can come in here and look at your stocks and you know keep an eye on these price targets and see if any of them are changing. And why we'd like to do an alert service at some point, you know, email or SMS to uh, alert people or maybe notify them on on like a, a browser notification or maybe a mobile app notification so that if one of their price targets changes by more than let's say 10 percent or 20 percent up or down um that they'll be notified so you know maybe it's something that they need to know and then trending so this is another um page that we threw in here that might help people so right now it's only the top 10 trending stocks on the website. You know, these top 10 are just from our beta testing over the last month or so. But, you know, as more people come onto the website and there's more stocks that are trending, I'm assuming that we'll probably add another 10 or 20 to this. So I would think in the next month or so, you could probably see the top 30 or 40 trending stocks on here, which just, you know, once again, it's just another sentiment indicator for people as to which companies people are looking up uh you know are the most interested in and you know like i said this is just from our beta testing so uh, don't don't put too much into this so that's pretty much it um you know all of our legal stuff is down here disclaimers privacy policy terms of service some freak, frequently asked questions um this is our main email address that a few of us have access to so if you do have any uh, questions, concerns, feedback, recommendations, whatever it might be, you can email us at info at fintrix.ai. You can also find us on Twitter at Fintrix. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as well. I'm pretty active on there. My DMs are always open, so you can DM me if you need to. Um, I don't know what else there really is. That's pretty much it. So hopefully that makes sense. So you have the training page, you have the watch list. Uh, price targets, you know, you can see right here, your the recent, the three most recent stocks you looked up. So that's where it'll change. Right, and now it's the last three. Um, so I think that's it.
So I hope you enjoyed the demo. If you have any questions, let us know. Like I said, you can email us info at fintrix.ai. Before you email us, maybe just check out the frequently asked questions. Uh, this might help you a little bit. Um, like I said, the plan, $10 or $100. Uh, if we, the only reason this might change is if we add an, uh, an alert service, we might have a, a second tier in here, maybe $12, $13, $14 dollars a month, you know, depending on, because obviously if we're adding an alert service, that's gonna be extra cost that we have to absorb. But we'll see um, if, if we can add the alerts, um, you know, inexpensively, then we might just absorb that cost ourselves and keep these plans at 10 and 100. Because the, the, our, I, you know, our goal here is not to make a lot of money off this. It's to provide a valuable service to retail investors where they can, you know, help track their stocks and help determine uh, 12 month valuations or price targets for those companies to hopefully empower them to become better investors. And I think that's that's the goal for us. And uh, hopefully you understand that and you appreciate the work that we've put into this. And all I can say now is enjoy. Have a good day.